The tutorial provides a walkthrough of steps for formatting data for barcodes in MS SQL Server using TSQL font formulas. Once the font formula formats the data, barcode fonts can be applied to the data source in applications such as Report Builder for SSRS. The implementation is designed for SQL Server 2012 and up. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the barcode font formula in MS SQL Server by calling the function in a query and storing the formatted data into a table. The example uses the ID Automation Code 128B font formula to convert an employee ID field into a field prepared for the barcode font. The tutorial uses SQL Server 2012 and the Code 128 font package with ID Automation Transact SQL font formulas. The Code 128 font package developer includes two zip files, the fonts and the developer tools. The tutorial assumes that the fonts are installed and the tools are ready to use. Open the ID Automation SQL file. In this example, we have Code 128B. Choose Edit and select All. Right-click and choose Copy. Run SQL Server and connect to the database. From the selected database, navigate to Programmability, Functions, Scalar Valued Functions, Right-click the folder and select New Scalar Valued Function. Erase the contents of the SQL file and paste the ID Automation font formula into it. Select Execute. This will store the function in the Scalar Valued Functions list of the database. To view the function in the Scalar Valued Functions folder, right-click the folder and choose Refresh. To create a query, select the New Query button. Select the fields to use from the table in the database. This example will convert employee ID from the employee table to a field formatted for the barcode by applying the font formula. Select Execute. Let's view all columns and values in the employee table. Execute the query. The results include the employee ID number, as well as employee name and ice cream type. Let's encode the employee ID field. To encode the field for the barcode, enter the name of the database, the ID Automation function, and surround the field with parentheses. Set the name of the column.
To save the results into a new table, use into and the name of the new table, such as into new table. Select Execute. The new table with the encoded field is added to the database. If the table is not visible, right-click the Tables folder and select Refresh. To query the results, right-click the new table and choose Select Top 1000 Rows. The barcode ID field displays as the encoded data. The encoded data stored in the table can be used as a data source in Report Builder and other applications such as reporting services. To create a scannable barcode, apply the ID Automation barcode font to the encoded data. Let's create a simple example that shows how this all works. For demonstration purposes, I'll simply copy the column that includes all of the encoded data. Open a text editor, such as WordPad. Right-click and select Paste. Apply the ID Automation font to the encoded data. Barcodes are generated.